Let's keep up the good habit of following the hepatic flexure and ascending colon into the pelvis. And here we find uh, quite a complex picture. There is stranding and inflammation, there's fluid, there's thickening of the bowel. So again, let's be quick to jump over to coronal and identify our key anatomic landmarks. Here's the ascending colon. This is the termina ileum, which is really impressively thickened and inflamed, and also the cecal base. And notice that the outer layer of the bowel is thickened and enhancing, which is the serosa, which indicates peritonitis. And there's also submucosal edema and some enhancement of the mucosa as well. This is caused by this thick walled structure here that predominantly contains fluid and has associated surrounding stranding and inflammation. So this is a big abscess in the right lower quadrant. And in terms of the cause of this abscess, right along the cecal base, we can find a, a rounded appendicolith and this ghostly shadow of the appendix, which is gassed out because it underwent gangrene, uh, ruptured, and the body walled it off to form an abscess.